What's up everybody? I'm gonna kick this unboxing video off with a couple of Marvel Pops and the first one that I have here is the PX Previews exclusive Glow in the Dark Iron Man and of course you know it says here I am Iron Man you know this represents um, that final moment for him in Endgame and uh, as far as the box is concerned on the back here I noticed that it just still has that first initial wave that they did for Endgame it, I noticed that with a lot of the um, later in game pops they still just have that wave on there but uh this particular pop again it's a px previews exclusive so if you're interested in that one it's actually pretty easy to track down various retailers do still have it available next up um this was really hyped up within the community and funko kind of hyped it up as well the release of the black light pops with target and really the only one that i wanted here was um iron man of course i am a big iron man fan you know that's pretty obvious there but even though the set does look pretty cool overall um i think they did a pretty good job from what i see with the coloring i know some of the colors aren't exactly what i thought they would turn out to be but um yeah it's a cool looking set overall but yeah i'm i'm good with just the iron man one i do have to give um funko props though because the art on this box does look pretty amazing. I would imagine if you have all of them together, you know, stacked together, then it would be pretty impressive. So, yeah, the art style on here, which I'm pretty sure is meant to, you know, kind of represent um, Jack Kirby's art style. It is impressive. Does look very cool there. And then I have one more Marvel pop that was actually sent to me by Funkaholic. She is a YouTuber, of course. I'm um, real named Tara. So shout out to Tara for being so kind to send this my way. And she did mention that there is some box damage to it, but for me, it's very minor. You know, so we have here the Walgreens exclusive Adam Warlock, which is one I really want to make sure I got into my collection. And you see that this is part of the Marvel 80, um, 80 years, you know, anniversary there going on. But yeah, there's a little creasing here on the side, but you know, for years now, I just, I don't stress over minor um, box damage like that. There's some creasing on the side as well, but it really does not bother me you know i'm just happy to have this pop and uh of course you see back there it has the picture of them there from the actual comic with the infinity gauntlet so yeah for me it's mainly about making sure that i have the pop i don't need a perfect box you know that's all pristine and everything now it's different when i order from a company and they send me a box that's like totally smashed up then of course i'm unhappy but yeah, some minor creasing and things like that does not really bother me at all. So, Funkaholic, thank you very much for sending that pop to me because that is one I definitely wanted to make sure that I secured. And it may come back into stock on Walgreens' website. It's not there right now. But if you're trying to track that pop down yourself, just keep checking Walgreens' website. Like I said, I think there's a good chance that it may get listed again. I'm really glad that Funko did a movie accurate version of this uh, moment from the movie. Of course, a very powerful moment with him making that sacrifice. And of course, you see him, you know, down here on his knees. And I like that they actually have this base along with it, you know, representing the ground that he was on. And of course, there's plenty of battle damage as well from his fight with Thanos. So, um, yeah, it, it's very accurate to that moment. Again, the face is uh, dirtied up there. He's got the blood trickling down. Yeah, it looks really on point. And I also like how you see how the Infinity Gems are actually affecting him there, or Infinity Stones, you know, whatever you prefer to call them. But yeah, you actually see how they are affecting him going up his arm there. So along with that, the um the actual glow on this figure is pretty minimal. Um, you know, I gotta be honest about that, but this is a rare time when the glow is minimal, and yet I understand it. I do understand why they did not um, really press the glow more because it really is just those particular areas that are the focus for that glow. So I'm glad they did make it glow in the dark. And like I said, even with it being minimal, it does make sense this time. So yeah, th this is just a really cool Funko Pop all the way around. It's kind of a sad one at the same time. Like if you're a big fan of Iron Man and you know Robert Downey Jr. as the character, then this sacrifice, oof, it, w it was rough. There were actually um, you know, a couple of very emotional moments within Endgame. And I do plan on watching that movie again sometime soon. I want to actually watch Infinity War again first and then watch Endgame because Infinity War was an amazing movie as well. You know, so really look forward to checking those out again, even though I may get emotional again at certain moments because, yeah, it's, it's just powerful, you know, when it comes down to it. And then this Iron Man here, of course, the black light one, like I said, colors aren't exactly the way that I thought they were going to be. But I really do like how much this does stand out. Now this one here, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it out of box 
or not. I might for a while. I tend to do that when I first get a Funko Pop figure. You know, I have it out for a while. But um, it's not like I have a black light on all the time. I know some people with their setups, they actually do have like lights running and everything, and they have black lights near their pops. So if you have these in your cl your collection, you know the um, black light pops, and you have those lights on, I definitely understand keeping them out of box. For me personally, I don't have that type of setup, you know. So this will probably go back in the box. But yeah, the colors are really amazing on it. And if you missed out on these, um, there is a chance that you may still be able to get them because some Target locations did not actually get the figures in yet. So don't give up hope if you missed out on them previously. And then finally here again from Funkaholic, we have here Adam Warlock. I really look forward to um, seeing how this character is brought into the MCU. He's already been set up in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they bring the character in. I feel like with... Um, with volume three they they got a lot of things that are kind of up in the air that they have to deal with um you know they they have door along with them which um i don't know how long door is going to actually stick with the guardians they got the whole situation with gamora and there's adam warlock that has been set up as well so there's a lot that really could happen within that movie and um i don't know a lot about this character i'll be honest about that you know so i'm looking forward to learning about him via the um mcu but as far as his pop is concerned, it's kind of simple, but I like that. You know, I think that it's true to the character. The character doesn't have a super complex design and definitely like that he actually has the Infinity Gauntlet there as well. So, yeah, this is a very cool pop and I'm very appreciative, again, of Funkaholic for sending it my way. Next up here, I have what I'm going to consider to be sort of a care package from Lady Funko. And uh, Lady Funko, she uh, used to be on YouTube, but now she mainly... um just shares things via her Instagram account but she's a very cool individual I consider her to be a really good friend and she decided to, like I said to send me a care package here so I haven't looked to see exactly what all is in the box I know that she sent me some snacks though you know which I'll go through here in just a moment but I do see I did open up the box you know um, and I see right up top here that there is a letter and it says uh, Franklin congrats on your channel's milestone you deserve to be celebrated Hope you enjoy the goodies and the pop. Lots of love, your friend, Melissa. Okay, so Lady Funko, of course, real name is Melissa. And um, yeah, this is a pretty, very much appreciated here. Um, I'm always down for some good snacks. So let's go ahead and see what is in here. Oh, and I'm happy already because I definitely like um, different flavors of ramen. And I see, let me get these all together here. And this brand is just really good. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to try one of these right away. I'm not sure how to say the company's name, but yeah, this brand of ramen is really tasty here. So you see we got the hot chicken flavor there, which I, they do have a lot of spicy flavors, but I, you know, it's, it's spice that I think, you know, is, you can, you can manage it, you know, if you like spice, it's not like over the top. This is a different, okay, this says hot chicken as well, but I guess it has some different flavoring going on. Oh, it actually says they're Korean black bean sauce, okay. And a lot of these are, um, I guess, hot chicken, but they just have different um, flavors going along with them. That one looks really tasty as well. This is actually one flavor I almost ordered from Amazon, but some of the prices are insane to try to get these. Um, this one I've seen before listed as well. Hot chicken flavor, but it has um, corn in the mix there. If this one, oh, I've had this one before, the curry flavor. I really do like this one. I wish they sold these um, in my area because, like I said, they can be pricey online. And then this one, um, Mala. I wonder if this is um, like an Indian uh, flavor or something there. I'm not really sure. Um, I know that Indian spice is like a, a different type of spice, basically. But I did tell Lady Funko that I really do like spicy food. So I think that's why she sent um, those in. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to those there. Um, we see also here... Um, I guess this is some sort of cookie, maybe. I'm actually not sure exactly what this is. It actually says Bandai on there. So is that based on a Bandai character? Because Bandai, I know them as, of course, you know, being uh, related to games. So, yeah, I'm not even exactly sure what this is. I have to check that out. Looks like maybe some sort of chocolate treat there. I did tell her that I like chocolate as well. Okay, we got, um, looks like a lot of different chips going on here. Okay, this to me, uh, let me see if this is the one. Well, no, oh, 
She must have got this like from an Asian market. These Doritos, I didn't realize at first that, you know, it has that different design going on there with, uh, yeah, some different language. So I didn't realize that at first. But these look sort of like the sweet chili um, Doritos. I'm not sure if it's exactly that flavor or not. But, um, yeah, I definitely like the sweet chili Doritos. Hopefully it is kind of, you know, reminiscent of that. Got here some popcorn. <laughs> it just says popcorn snack. So I'm not exactly sure what flavor it is. And it's not straight up popcorn it's just something that i guess is popcorn flavored so that'll be interesting to try okay we got here yeah she must have she must have went to an asian market because look at the cheetos here and these are spicy as well which i hope they have a nice spice to them the flaming hot cheetos there i know like a big deal for people but they're just okay to me okay we got here it looks like just the nacho cheese yeah this it actually says it's just a nacho cheese flavor Doritos, but again, she must have gotten these from an Asian market, which um, I don't know if I've been in like a straight up Asian market before. I know they have them in my area. They're pretty much um, in all states as far as I know, like across the country. Now, these look pretty tasty here. Honey twist snacks. This might be one of the first ones that I actually tried. That does sound pretty good. That says they're sweet and delicious. I like the uh, little anime artwork that they have on some of these snacks as well. Here's another one of these containers shaped this way, you know, and it has a little, uh, almost like a koala, but I, I, I guess it is meant to be a koala there. But again, I'm not ex exactly sure what it is. It looks like, okay, this looks, it says cocoa on there. I see that. And then it's filled with some sort of cream there. Okay, so yeah, that might be pretty tasty. And uh, Melissa, you'll have to let me know which of these you actually tried. I'm sure some of you maybe just picked up because you thought I might be into them. But I am curious about which ones you've tried before. Again, I like the artwork here with the little characters. This almost looks like um, goldfish. Uh, but it says not fried baked snack. But yeah, reminds me of goldfish there. You know, the goldfish treats. Well, I guess it does maybe have... Um... Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's not just fish. There's different little creatures there. Because I see one shaped like a crab. One like the starfish. Okay. And the flavor, um, I honestly can't tell what the flavor will be for that. So that'll be interesting. Um, what is this here? I guess these are cookies. Maybe I've seen these before. Hold on, let me see. It says Ben Ben Rice Crackers. Okay, so crackers. Yeah, I think I've seen these before. I'm not sure if I've actually had them before, but I'm pretty sure that I've seen these before at least. If I remember correctly, maybe I did try them. I don't, I don't know. If I did, it was a long time ago. But um, they definitely look familiar there. Okay, we got here is... Maybe this is sort of like... Okay, it says fruits mix gummy candy. I wonder if that's sort of like haichu, possibly. They got apple, biscotti. I'm not even sure what that means. Um, and they got grape. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm seriously not sure what that means. Maybe it's a different type of grape. I don't know. I'll find out. You know, and then she has a um a Ziploc bag here, and there's a couple of more treats in here. Some chocolate treats. These really look good. Okay, macadamia. I'm definitely on board for that. Yeah, I really do like macadamia and chocolate covered macadamia. Yeah, that I'm yeah looking forward to that one there. Okay, then we got. I see my light <laughs> over here flickering. These look like um it says choco pie. But, you know, I'm here in South Carolina. In the South, you know, these moon pies. I mean, that's really what it's like, moon pies. And it's banana flavored as well. So that should be really good. But, uh, yeah, it's banana flavored. And yet it still has, you know, the chocolate on the exterior there. But if you know about moon pies, when you usually get a banana moon pie, it's all yellow. And she actually sent three of these. So that is very good there. Definitely looking forward to that as well. And I'll put it back in a Ziploc bag. And then... Okay, so that was all of the snacks and then she did send a pop as well which um i really thought she was just going to send the snacks but yeah she did decide to throw in a pop here as well so let's find out what we got going on here and melissa definitely thank you for everything i got a lot of treats here now to enjoy okay and she wrapped this pop up very well oh i forgot almost forgot that she actually put the pop um in a bag as well because she didn't want the food to affect it and oh my goodness <laughs> i don't know how she managed to do this um wow i don't even know what to say right now 
I think she did mention that the box isn't perfect, but this, I don't think you really can find this perfect condition anymore because it's so tough to track down. Um, wow, you really went above and beyond. Let me show you all what she sent here. We have Bane. Um, I never thought I would be able to get my hands on this pop. Melissa, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how you managed to get this figure. Um, and it really, the what I see with the box is really very minor. Um, because, you know, a lot of these vaulted pops, especially this old, the boxes can be really worn down, even, you know, having some discoloration. But this is really not bad condition at all. And, I mean, it's about that figure there. Like I said, this is something that's been like a grail for me for a long time, but not necessarily one I thought I would ever have. So I'm amazed, <laughs> Melissa. You, Like I said, you really went above and beyond. Wow. And I'm not unboxing that <laughs> right now. Um, I'm leaving that in the box for sure, but I'm blown away by that. <laughs> I, I definitely am going to have to contact you and uh, thank you personally for that. That That's absolutely amazing. Wow. I, I, I can't even get over that. I cannot believe that I have Bane in my collection now. And I got a bunch of goodies here as well. So... Yeah, thank you so much for Melissa. That is a really pleasant surprise. I totally did not expect that. I seriously did not expect that, but very grateful, very thankful. And a uh, big thank you to everybody that did check out this video and stuck with me all the way through. Um, I'll be jumping on these snacks after I contact Melissa and thank her personally for this amazing pop here and for the snacks as well. Let me know if you've tried um, some of the snacks here and what you think about, you know, the snacks that I got here. And of course, let me know what you think about the pops as well. And I definitely want to hear how you all feel about the um, black light pops uh, because, you know, for repaints, I've, I've never seen this much hype around repaints. And I do think it is justified hype because I do think the pops turned out to be really interesting looking so yeah definitely give me your feedback on those but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here again very much blown away and again thank you to funkaholic as well for sending me that adam warlock but yeah that's gonna do it for this video and i'll talk to you all again real soon